Hi, welcome to BS Garage. On this one, it broke. I ended up pulling a piston out of this thing because I did a leak down test and it was ungood. Let's go. Yup, this is uh, the current situation. So to catch you guys up to speed, because I didn't really film any of the teardown. Driving home one night, and I noticed that the breather out of the catch can system was smoking pretty heavily, uh, more than normal. Like a little bit, a little bit of something, something. That's fine. I expect that because I opened up the ring gap in order to allow for boost. But this was excessive, and I wish I would have filmed it, and I didn't. So it freaked me out a little bit. So I got a leak down test. I went ahead, I performed a leak down on the engine and it turns out that cylinder number two had about 40% less um, than all of the others, which made me believe that it was, it was hurt. Like something was wrong, obviously. Went ahead, as you see, tore down the engine, pulled the heads off, supercharger, everything. And I pulled out number two, number two piston, and uh, let me let me show you what I found on that one. So here it is. And to, to back up, um, so that engine, if anybody's curious or just wants to know what's going on with it, it is. it started out as a 4.8 Gen 3 block LS style. It has the Summit Racing LS Pro crankshaft and, like, full rotating assembly in it. Um, so as you can see here, I got the rod and the piston, but it also has the crank in it and it's bored to 3.82 and the four inch strokes, which makes it a 367 cubic inches. So it's, it's like equivalent to a 6.0, a little bit larger than a 6.0 right now with a little bit higher compression. I think it has 10.2 or 10.1 compression, according to the heads that are on it. Um, anyway, I might have screwed this thing up when installing it because of that particular bore size, I couldn't get a ring compressor tool that is specific for that. And I really like those and I really hate the ratcheting ones, um, but I have to use it because that's the only thing that I can compress these rings with. Um, and the reason why I say that is maybe that when I was putting it in, I nicked it. Can you see what I'm seeing here? Let's see if we can get this to focus. So top ring, See that right there? Yeah, we got two chunks missing, a hairline fracture, and a chunk missing right down here. That is ungood, which makes me believe that this thing is tweaked a little bit, which allows a lot of blow-by, meaning that's that's where my leak down failure was coming from, was that top ring right there. So I'm happy that I found the failure point and the piston, everything else is unscathed. Like the cylinder wall, the bore wall, um, looks amazing. There's no chips or anything out of the piston itself. So I'm really pleased with that. So I'm just going to go ahead and I have a new ring set here because you can only buy it in sets. But um, Summit Racing thankfully makes specific ring sets for my specific engine combination. Um, ordered that. I just got that in today. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to gap just that top ring and then throw this thing all back together. That's the goal, and hopefully that fixes my blow-by issue. I'll perform another leak down test. It's gonna fix it, but I'm just gonna perform it just to make sure. And then we just have to go through and um, you know put the head on, oil pan, supercharger, all all of that there has to go back on. So that's that's kind of the bummer part. Fresh oil, fresh coolant, all fun stuff like that. So that's what I'm going through on this one. Um, honestly, I was super frustrated when I found out she was hurt because it's like, come on, you got another thing? This is crazy, but this is my own doing. I mean, I'm not placing blame on anybody else. Um, I did it to myself. So time to fix it. And honestly, it is not that bad. It's just a lot of time and a little bit of work. I have a brand new top ring out of the set here. I got to file this sucker down because if I was to throw it in here just like this, um, it would already close up the gap and that's not good. The Summit Racing comes with instructions 
And I'm using force induction up to 15 pounds, so I gotta times it by 0 .006 of the bore size, which comes out to be 0 .0228 numbers repeating, who knows, but I actually marked it on my feeler gauges. The last time I built this engine, um, I got my bottom ring at 0 .025 and the top ring at 0 .023, so, I basically have to uh, file that sucker down until I have that much gap after squaring it up in the bore. And I'm using my handy dandy um, ring filer here. I got it screwed to my bench. Um, just gotta sneak up on it. This takes forever. Shouldn't take forever, forever because I don't have eight of them to do or 16, I should say. Um, I just have the one to do. Don't go over, because if you go over, you can't go back. You can always take off more, you can never take off less. Took me about mm, four tries to get it where I needed it to be. Just kind of snuck up on it, but you can see that gap that's in there now. And I have my feeler gauge. So if I stick it in there, it has ever so slight amount of drag on there. We're good to go at 23 thousandths. Sweet. Another thing to note, uh, after I file it down, go ahead and just take a file and knock down the burrs because you're going to create a little bit of a, like a lip edge or something, especially on this side here. Just make sure it's all smooth. You don't want anything to catch or grab or do anything weird. Also check the side that you don't do, just in case, because I have had it before where there was a little bit of a catch edge there. You don't want that there. So just uh, take a file, lightly grind those edges down. And you should be good to go. Pistons in, heads on, everything's torqued down, rotates nicely. Uh, got everything underneath all buttoned up, oil pan, um, starter, exhaust, a few other little things. Supercharger though, it weighs a lot. Um, I pretty much had a hernia taking it off of here. So I'm gonna get this thing back on the ground in order to get a lower center of gravity to get that big honking thing back on there. Um, but I'm gonna do it tomorrow because it's late and it's cold. So we'll pick it back up here in a second. New day, get the car back on a, a manageable working height. Um, my goal, two hours. Two hours to get this thing wrapped up, running, and good to go because, as you can see, it's actually really nice out right now, and I want to go ahead and test this thing out today yet. So I'm going to get to it. If I have some things I want to show you guys, I'll show you along the way. Otherwise, the next time you see it, this thing's going to be all back together. Time to throw the supercharger on because my head's a rec port and the supercharger is computer port. You have to have um, these adapters here in order to make it happen. And it's such a pain in the butt in order to line everything up in order to get the bolts to bolt this thing to uh, the heads. So uh, as you can see, I got some masking tape holding this thing together. And I'm really hoping that this works and it holds it in place of where it needs to be. Otherwise, if you try to put the adapters on the heads, they tend to slide down um, and then you got to kind of like wedge them up and then do each... I, it's pain. I'm hoping that this is a little bit better of a solution to getting everything to line up, but I guess we're gonna see how this goes. lower install what you saw me do there is just kept going around and around and around and around and around uh, slowly snugging this thing down hand tight until I couldn't hand tighten it anymore and then um, I took my torque you're supposed to do inch pounds you're supposed to do 44 inch pounds and then 89 inch pounds of torque um, in sequence but I just you know center out whatever and I used um, foot pounds and I did 12 so <laughs> it's a little bit higher it's supposed to be around like eight ish um, but when I took this thing apart, because there's so many gaskets that have to be compressed, like all these bolts were kind of like really loose inside here. So I wonder if I was getting a little bit of a boost leak, um, under high boost situations, which is highly likely because of how loose those things were. But I just wanted to make sure that they were cinched down, but just don't go crazy. Cause it's so easy to break off those little bolts inside there. Um, yeah, those guys are not that strong, which is crazy to me that this is the style setup that they use is this big honking blower and these tiny little bolts that hold it all together. But I mean, you gotta adapt it for the LS platform. So what do you do? It should work just fine. Did before, will again. 
Um, yeah, now I gotta put the top hat on, start buttoning this all up. We got about an hour left, so let's keep going. by about 20 minutes of the time that I wanted to get it done, but it's full of fluids, everything's buttoned up. Um, so now I'm gonna check it and start it. Just looking all over my connection, especially fuel. Make sure I'm not leaking anything. Oh, I'm so nervous. 